Welcome back to Thriller Recaps. Today, we will go through an episode from an American adult animated anthology, Love, Death, and Robots, called Ice Age. Watch out for spoilers. A young couple has just moved into their new house. The husband, named Rob, carried the box of their belongings into the house, while his wife, Gail, organizes the kitchen. Gail is concerned about an old refrigerator her landlord left behind in their new apartment. They can't get rid of it, but it looks unpleasant in the kitchen. Rob tries to be optimistic and tells her that the old refrigerator has technology that the new refrigerator does not, like the massive motor it has on top of it. Gail sarcastically said this was crazy and made fun of her husband's geekiness. Rob got tired after carrying all the boxes, thus Gail suggests they drink some wine. Rob opened the old refrigerator to see if there was any ice inside. He was surprised to see that the refrigerator was covered with thick chunks of ice. He took a cube and put it in the drink. They sit down and make a toast to their new home. After drinking a sip, Rob noticed a strange thing inside the ice. When Rob realized what's in it, he couldn't believe his eyes. He gave the cube to Gail and asked her to confirm there's something in it. She took the magnifying glass and the two looked inside and saw a small mammoth frozen in a cube. They were both stunned and confused. They saw that this frozen animal was killed by a spear stuck in its side. Confused, Gail returned to the freezer, removed the ice, and eventually uncovered a small functional medieval civilization. Time seems to pass faster in the refrigerator as people go about their days rooting in seconds. The couple was fascinated and confused, wondering how this was possible. The people inside didn't seem to bother that the giants were watching them. After a while, Rob buried the mammoth's small body under a house splint. Gail made fun of her husband and when she opened the refrigerator again, she saw that the Middle Ages had turned into the Industrial Revolution. Many years passed in the refrigerator when they were gone for a few minutes. They watched people build tall buildings and houses in quick time. Rob is upset that he missed the Renaissance period and wonders if the people in the refrigerator think they are gods. Just then, the two construction workers in the refrigerator complain about the two idiots staring at them every day, saying that they are sick of seeing broccoli in Gail's teeth. In no time, the industrial era changes into the modern era, and massive skyscrapers are built. Rob is confused by seeing the tiny objects flying over the building, but Gail thinks they might be planes. The couple watches in fascination as the time changes to the present age. Rob smiled as he looked at the Starbucks building, trying to connect with the little world. As he moves closer to get a better look when suddenly, a massive missile launches on the tiny city. Rob was startled and fell back into the kitchen as Gail tried to help him. The people inside the refrigerator are at war and it looks like everything is destroyed. The couple thinks humanity's future is harsh, but they don't seem to care. Gail closes the refrigerator and says the people can't outgrow the battle in a few minutes, so they have to come back later. They both ordered a pizza and enjoyed it, ignoring the nuclear war in the fridge. About an hour later, Rob asks to investigate what is going on inside. The couple appear to be afraid to open the fridge, fearing they would look at the extinction of humans. However, when they finally opened the door, they encountered a surprise. The war has ended, and mankind has recovered from it. They noticed high-technology flying cars and even compared the tiny futuristic place to the Emerald City. Human civilization has grown more advanced than ever before. The futuristic world has several skyscrapers connected with bridges in the beginning, but then a singular pyramid-like structure takes over. They think everyone leaves inside the pyramids now. When the pyramid opened, a diamond-shaped pattern is revealed inside. The structure absorbs the whole city, and soon, a ball of energy formed in the center. It finally explodes, sending spark of energy flying into the couple's kitchen. They watched in fascination as sparks danced like fireflies around the kitchen. They believe that humans have uncovered all the secrets of the universe and are now traveling through space beyond their imagination. The sparks of light then converge back into the sphere again and transfer into the refrigerator, which the couple believes is their true home. At last, the sphere disappears, presumably indicating the end of the world. They looked at the empty refrigerator in confusion. Rob wonders if they are ever coming back, but Gail claims it's unlikely. Rob finally took out the refrigerator's plug and the couple hugged each other, seeing people's past, present and future in a few hours. It is now the following morning. The couple woke up and continued their morning routine. However, what happened last night was not erased from their minds. They decided to open the refrigerator once to see if it was really finished. They discover there is a cold mist coming out of it even if it is still unplugged. To their utmost surprise, the age of dinosaurs has returned, showing primitive homo sapiens eating the huge bodies of ancient creatures. It seems the little civilization has not disappeared, instead it was reset and has started from zero. At that moment, a Tyrannosaurus rex roars loudly and begins chasing after the primitive men, catching one in the air with its huge mouth before going after the one that just fell to the ground. Now where could this civilization possibly have come from? The episode ended with the couple continuing to examine the small creature in their habitat, this episode of Love, Death and Robots is especially famous for all the interesting details of creation, 
Evolution and the end of humanity presented in small scales. The concept of both time and dimension is challenged by a magical freezer. It is correct to call the refrigerator a natural phenomenon since it is not briefly explained how it came into existence. Some fans of the show believe the refrigerator belonged to its previous owner, who got bored of watching the fate of humanity repeatedly and left it at home before moving out. The film also provides us hope for the future because the world inside the freezer recovered from the most devastating war mankind had ever seen. But while the little world is at war, by watching Rob and Gail order and eat pizza, we see people's carelessness and irresponsibility towards the world's problems. In this short film, we can witness the possible future of humanity that doesn't end in its extinction. Instead of the catastrophic ending that most movies predict, Ice Age shows us the human possibility of understanding the world and becoming one with it. The ball of energy formed in the pyramid-like towers appear to be a technology that allows them to escape reality. After unlocking all the secrets of our existence, the energy ball disappeared into air, indicating that humans have changed dimensions and have become an advanced higher being. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, turn on notifications to help the channel out. Thanks for watching till the end.